Walters or knows his stuff. All his models are really tough. Building mountains for paper to shade. Going with blue stuff together all day. Crash the cursor. Crash the cursor. Crash the cursor. Cursor's the best crafter. Hey guys, all right, we're back. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Crafts the Cruiser again. Today we're gonna uh, do a build that started out as a happy accident. Uh, I was trying to use foam board that I peeled the edges off of to make a small end scale type building and that was a complete disaster because I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I went in later on and tried one with a polystyrene sheet and it it's not much better but uh, I think I can save it I started it off camera but uh, I'm, I'm gonna do a build with that in the next episode so we're gonna check out how we made this Mars uh, prop for Gundam Barbatos and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here I've got some foam core board that I'm just peeling the paper off of and making it into just foam. This is a very easy trick if you can't go to Lowe's and grab some X XPS foam. So I'm just trying to get a basic shape right here, cutting out around the building and get it built up the way that I want it to look. I tried super gluing it and super gluing foam just makes a smelly, stinky fume and it's not good. This also came out horribly, so you know what that means. So I'm just cutting out a few layers here and getting them all somewhat even before I glue them together and let the glue sit overnight to cure. Now that it's cured, I'm just taking the edge of my X-Acto knife and chopping along, making little jagged marks like the side of a little hill, trying to make it somewhat resemble rocks before I go with my top coating. Here we're going with that little trick that I learned from Jeremy on Black Magic Craft and it's just paint mixed with Mod Podge and uh, also watered it down a little bit for this one. After I get that on there I'm going to go ahead and do a base layer of sand 
into the Mod Podge uh, paint mixture to go ahead and get a little bit of a texture onto everything. Now we're just adding some uh, spray glue over top of it. It's just a watered down PVA glue that you can grab from the Dollar Tree. And I'm doing it in layers, uh, putting it down and then spraying more over top of it to lock everything together. Adding some gravel in now and locking it all in. Also I had a couple of leftover pieces of foam that look kind of like a rock that I just uh, put on here and glued down and then I took a piece of wire and ran through each one of them to hold them in place a little bit better than just the glue. I'm doing my airbrushing here. Uh, this is just really watered down craft paint with the nozzle turned wide open on the airbrush to get it in there. Uh, I went with a dark base and now I'm lightening on my way up and just adding extra lighter colors as I go along to make it brighter to really get that Mars surface brought out here with the uh, reds going slowly lighter. After all of that dried, I went in with a dry brush and started doing similar steps uh, and then going lighter all the way up to uh, this section here. Just slowly blending in different lighter colors to bring it up to where I want it to be for the final uh, dry brush coat. Now that I've got all this done and it looks super light, I'm going back in with this uh, red wash, which is even more watered down version of what I used to spray out of the uh, airbrush. It's really wet. But don't worry, it'll dry uh, lighter and thinner than it actually looks. Now I'm going in with the Dollar Tree makeup and making the little road areas in here and doing a little bit of brush on, on the upper side of it. Here we've taken a piece of a sprue and trimming it up and drilling a hole in the whole base to place the Gundam on top and we're just gluing it in with some PVA glue. Now we're going in with cotton balls and building a spiraling little spire of dust that hopefully eventually will be uh, going to my little mobile worker coming out on the other side with like an explosion in there. We're just going to add a little bit of depth to the cotton balls with this uh, airbrush here.
All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. We got this guy uh, pretty much done up. All that's left is a small mobile worker uh, that I'm gonna do in a separate video because uh, my friend is 3D printing it for me right now. And uh, we're gonna detail it up, do the smoke effects and maybe even, even an explosion to explain this little bit of uh, dust coming up here so it's not just there to hide the stem that's coming up out of there to hold him up. Uh, it seems like a pretty stable prop to pose him with. There's all kinds of different angles that we can do. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Gundam animes and I wanted to do this Gundam justice with this diorama to have it to sit up and be a part of my collection. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tune in next time. Thanks Son of Mouse once again for the uh, intro and playthrough music. Uh, I'm really, in, really enjoying the new tunes. Uh, see you next time guys. Or knows his stuff. All his father.